Do you want to be a protopy expert? If so, you need to learn about variables. Variables, which store values, are used in many calculation interactions. Think of variables as a basket. Deposit one type of value into each variable, whether it's text, numbers, or color codes. You can then use these values again and again within your interactions. In Protopy, you often use variables with the detect and assign features. Let's think of them as eyes, delivery men, and baskets. Here is an example to help us understand their roles in more detail. Imagine you type your name on this page. The system will save whatever you type and show your name later on your profile page. In this case, you need the help of these three items. The first item is the trigger, detect. It acts like eyes, monitoring the text that has been typed into the input box. If detect finds any changes, then the second item, assign response, will begin to work. Assign acts like a delivery man, passing the text you typed over to the variable. And the third item is the variable itself. This will keep the text for when you need it later. Now we understand these three features, let's take a quick look at how this actually works within Protopy. I've already added an input layer to make the initial typing interaction. After that, we need to select Detect Trigger, so that it identifies whatever you are typing. In this case, the object of this Detect Trigger is the input layer's text. In other words, the Detect Trigger caught the change of the input layer's text. Then we need to assign what the user is typing into a variable. In order to do this, we need to add an assign response. Now, to actually create the variable, go to the left-hand corner. Let's add a for all scenes variable, because we will reuse this variable later in another scene. Can you spot this little ladybug? If you click this, Protopy will show you what is already saved within this variable. Remember that variables can keep three types of values. Number text, and color. Here, we're going to choose text. Click on Assign to make sure that the variable keeps this text. Now we need to decide what value we want to hold in the variable. In this case, it's the text we typed into the input layer. Let's check what we made in the preview window. Whenever I type something new into the input box, the Detect feature will immediately notice and will change the contents in the variable. Here, you can see that the variable now contains the text Leah. Great! Let's make our next interaction. Now, when you type the name into this field and click the Next button, we will jump to the Profile page. So, add a jump response and move to the Profile scene. So, the trigger on this scene should be Start. Then, add a text response. Here, we need to select the formula in the Text Response section. In the Formula section, we need to choose the same variable. Done! Now, this name will change according to what was typed in the first scene. Let's check out what we made. If I type a name like Leah and click the Next button, ta-da! Welcome, Leah. Now you know the power of variables. Variables are an advanced feature in Protopy. They are always used with the Detect and Assign features. Once you understand how to use them, you can create amazing interactions, including games. See you in the next tutorial.